Hi everybody, I'm just going to do a quick review and swatches on my new double exposure palette by Smashbox that I got for Christmas um, and I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. I have got the full exposure one which I really love so I decided to get the double exposure one. Um, it comes in its box. I didn't get um, a mascara with this one. I'm not sure if you do in boots but I got mine online and you didn't get a mascara with it. Um, that's what it looks like and you get an eye shape thing with it to see what eye shape you are. And it also says that you can use the eyeshadows wet. Um, I don't know if I would use them wet um, because I might use them damp. I might. I always tend to damp my brush anyway, but only ever so slightly with a baby wipe. I wouldn't actually dip it and use use them wet. Um, I don't think I'd like to do that. Um, but it says, um, see how each shadow transforms when wet. So if you want to type that in online and just see what they're like wet and dry, you can do that too. Um, it says, don't worry about getting your shadows wet. They'll never glaze over and will always dry like new. Um, so that's what it says. Um, and it says when you when you wet them, what the difference is. It either gets deeper or it adds sparkle or it turns metallic when you wet them. So anyway, it does have names on these, but it's in a really stupid place. It's on the box. Um, I don't think it has names anywhere else, not that I can see. Um, has it got it on the back of the palette? Let me see. Yes, it has got it on the back of the palette, but I don't like that because you're not going to be turning your palette over all the time to find out the names. I like it when it does it in the palette and it's got the names underneath. So that's one downside to it. It's got a lovely big mirror in it. Um, I never use the mirror in them. Um, I did think that says said the shades on and I was going to stick it to it, but it doesn't actually say the shades on it. Uh, it doesn't say the name of it, so that just tells you what happens when you add water, if they become deeper or if they give a sparkle or hasn't got the names of them. Um, so that is a pain in the bum. Stupid. So I'm just going to show you them with the um, other exposure one, uh, the full exposure one. That didn't have names either. Um, they didn't have names at all, but this one does have names, but not in the box. So anyway, I will shut up and get on with it. You get a lovely brush. Is it the same as the other brush? Let me see. Just opened it. I've not even looked at it yet. Right. No, it's not actually the same as the um, full exposure brush. This is called the double exposure brush. And it doesn't tell you what the brushes are for. On the full exposure, it says one side's for matte and one side's for um, blending, I think it said. This one is just got Smashbox on it and one side is a um, flat, quite stubby, flat brush. But it's very, very soft. I really love Smashbox brushes. They're gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. The ones I've got anyway are so nice and I only own like three I think and they're seriously nice three or four and they're gorgeous and this side is like a tapered one so that's quite different so yeah I like that anyway I'll try and show you these up close that's what they look like sorry about the lighting guys I was going to do this in the day but um, with having kids, I can't do it in the day, so this is the only chance I get to do it. But there are some lovely colours in there. If you can see, this one's a blue, um, and it's got a bit of glitter in it. You probably cannot see that there. You might see a little bit of sparkly glitter in it. Um, but if you want to look at better swatches, then go and have a look at someone's blog or something. I'm just saying what I think of it and the colours, basically. But it's a really nice palette. The colours are really nice, um, but it doesn't have enough mattes for me. Um, it says actually on this um, what they are, either matte or shimmer or satin. And I'll go through them. This one is a shimmer. This one is a satin. 
the next one is a shimmer 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 and the last one is a satin um so you know you haven't got any matte colors there this one down at the bottom is a satin this blue one this is like a purple and this is satin the next one is a shimmer the black is matte that's actually a matte the next one is a shimmer which is brown the next one is a matte actually and that's brown and the next one is a matte and that's brown although if you look at all them there's no colour for me that I can really put in the crease there is but there's no matte colour these are the only two mattes and that's a matte as well the black I'm not really going to put black in my crease and these are too dark for my crease I would prefer something maybe like that colour for my crease or this colour but these are shimmers but they're not like really really shimmery so I'm hoping that they might work in the crease I'm going to do a look with this palette and I'm hoping that the satin or the shimmers work in the crease because I want to just be able to work from one palette which would be nice so having a crease colour not having a crease colour is a bit of a pain um, but I have done swatches and these are the top row if you can see them one two three four five six seven so i hope you can see that they're not very um i would say i wouldn't say i'd say they're not very pigmented they're they're okay they're a bit like the other palette really not so so pigmented but then you go on to the bottom row and these are a lot more pigmented although they're picking up the wrong colour slightly on the camera but this is meant to be a blue although when you swatch it on your hand it doesn't come out blue it comes out more like a black but it has got shimmery bits in it that's a purple that's more of a mauvey colour then you've got black I think this is probably my favourite colour and that's a brown and that's a shimmery brown and these two at the end are matte um, I might be able to use that in my crease but it seems a bit dark but if I use a light hand maybe I could get away with using that in my crease who knows but they are the bottom colours I hope you can see them okay and yeah I'll see how I get on with this palette but it seems nice enough and I love my full exposure palette so in a few months time I will see which one I like the best full exposure or double exposure if you've got any questions then please just ask down below I was just doing a quick sort of what I thought of it and just show you it really but yeah you're not going to see the colours too great in this stupid light but I hope you can see that it's about £37 I think from Boots um, and I have offered this in my giveaway I'm doing a giveaway at the moment so if you haven't seen that please go and see my giveaway video because um, I've offered different things you, uh, the winner is going to pick what they want and it's like around 36 to 38 pounds so you could choose this or you could choose something Urban Decay or whatever so anyway I hope you liked that there are the swatches again and i will speak to you soon thanks for watching guys bye